a peaceful pursuit in a troubled region. When you hear about the Middle East, it usually conjures up images of deserts and frequent violence and war. But as ABC's Simon McGregor Wood found, the disputed city of Gaza is an undisputed surfing paradise. Think of Gaza, and you probably think of this. Or this. But not this. According to members of the Gaza Surfing Union, just 20 members so far, it's the next big thing. The suburb... When I surf, I feel free, says Mohammed. You don't often feel free in Gaza. There's real passion here and some talent. But when Hamas took over, Israel sealed the borders. Now there is a desperate shortage of equipment. When surfing first started here in Gaza 15 years ago, this was the only surfboard there was. But that all changed two years ago when an American surfer called Dorian Paskovitz decided to help. No ordinary surfer, this 88-year-old Jewish doctor from Hawaii. All of a sudden, I see in the paper a picture of two guys standing with one old board and saying that they are surfers in Gaza, but there are no boards. So he started Surfers for Peace to reach out the hand of friendship to Gaza surfers. Two years ago, he managed to get these 12 boards into Gaza. It was a triumph of enormous proportion. It doesn't matter if you're Christian or Jewish, he says. We're so grateful to Dorian and anyone who helps us. Dorian longs to surf in Gaza, but its borders remain sealed shut to him. But members of the Gaza Surfing Union still surf with his boards and dream one day of surfing with the good friend they've never met. Within five years, the Palestinians will be over here surfing against the Israelis in competitive contests. will you be here with them? <laughs> Inshallah. God willing, Simon McGregor Wood, ABC News, Gaza.